Good evening and welcome to Gray Barn of Andover, New Jersey. Tonight we are going to visit with Auntie's Attic. She is vendor number 82. She is a 20% off items not marked firm vendor. Now you can purchase directly from our YouTube videos by simply calling us at 973-786-5555 or you can email us, which is fantastic. I love when I get a detailed email with the exact breakdown of what time you saw an item and which video it was in. That makes it so much easier for us to correspond with you, find the items, get them back to you. So if you are able to email us or direct message us from our Facebook page of Gray Barn Antiques or our Instagram, which is Gray Period Barn, that is actually very easy as well for us to figure out what you're looking at. And if you're able to do screenshots, you can send those right through the Facebook and Instagram messenger. And we do ship the smaller items. We'll let you know if it's something that we cannot ship to you. So we're going to go visit Auntie's Attic. She has a shelf in the case room as well as a booth and she is known around here as the Pyrex lady. So we're going to pass through. I still have this. I'm going to just show you this quickly. Um, this is a sacrifice. I saw this. I'm opening up this stuff. I'm like sacrifice booklet. Oh my goodness. What are we sacking? It's a baseball. <laughs> so it had me a little bit confused. This is the this is actually a game that has all these cards in it. So I'm going to actually feature this. It's A, B, P. It's like the pre-fantasy baseball before you had everything online. This is like a written up game. It comes with all these cards and stats and all this information inside each of these boxes. And this is peanuts. Um, actual peanuts. Shipping peanuts flying around too. There are these actual cards in here, which I'll probably do a separate video of the opening of this. But... Um, See, so Baltimore Orioles, and it's by year, and it has the different players that were that year were on the team. So yeah, here you go, ABPA Major League Baseball. So this would be Mike Bodeker, and it has all his stats. And this is what you would use to set up your teams. And like I said, fantasy baseball, with all these pads. I'm going to do a video just on that because I think it's going to be a heck of a lot easier than trying to take a thousand pictures and explaining this. So we do have that. We have all these different years and everything. We're asking 100 not firm, so it'll be $80 for all of this. So if you go on eBay and you check, you'll see that is a very good deal. So I'm walking over into the case room. First, we pass by some of the candy. As people that shop here know, we have a lot of nostalgic candies and newer candies. And I'm getting big shipments in this week. So this is Auntie's Attic, her locked case shelf. As you can see, she has a black light in there to make that uranium glass really pop. So you're gonna take the 20% off of that 95, so that becomes 76, I believe. And that is the same price for cash, credit card, or if you're having it shipped and you prefer, we do PayPal as well. And even if you're not, if you're calling in with a credit card, we'll also send you a PayPal invoice so you can see the breakdown of that. Or we'll just, if you email us, we'll do the breakdown in the email as well. For our friends that are further away, uh, we are able to do parcel post on most of the stuff now, which is can be a significant savings on the higher weights. So she's got a lot of great uh, uraniums. We see we have the Fenton opalescent hobnail. Now I'm gonna. I just want to turn off the shelf light, shelf light, the shelf light in there, just so you can see the difference of that glass and what it looks like when the light is on. Now look at how different that piece of Fenton looks. So it has like this creamy yellow ruffle edging on it and you can see the hobnail has a slight iridescence to it and that's a piece of yellow you have the green if you're able to afford the beast it's called and you can get that on amazon and you really want to start collecting uh, uranium and vaseline glass i do recommend getting that flashlight uh, it's around fifty dollars it's a huge one but it, it really works well if you go into a shop the little ones that you can carry around they work well enough if it's you know has a high amount of uranium it's going to really glow but if you're walking into a shop and a lot of times people don't even know if something is if the vendors the dealers don't know that it glows that light's going to pick up on everything in their booth and it can be some of the strangest things sometimes some of the knickknacks we've had in here that we never thought glowed we found out they did when we had a gentleman came in with his black his beast so this is a pretty cool little perfume bottle, five and a half inches tall, and that's $16. And it's a blue and white model glass with this fantastic floral stopper, like little blue, um, not violets, but a flower like that. And here's a nice piece of Roseville. And that's called the Fox Glove, and that's 48 and then 20% off. I love this picture. It has an applied handle and applied uh, white striping on it. Also 48 and 20% off. And if they do notice 
damage, they will put that on the tag chip on the bottom. So that beautiful cobalt cut to clear is $60 and has really cool old Santa in there too. And he is $36 and he is eight and a half inches tall and he's a little plastic uh, bank. So now I'm going to kind of back up and we're going to head over to the great room, which we call it because it is the biggest room in the building. We have several rooms, as you can see up front, and we are walking up to Auntie's attic. Now I did have a request for that lamp that you're seeing right when we're walking up that I featured the other day on Instagram and Facebook to be shipped. We, we're not going to ship that. It's just to the box. I mean, we could separate the lamp, the, the shade in that, but we're just afraid of doing it. I mean, we could, if you really, really wanted it, we could, but it's going to be, it's not going to be cheap. I can tell you that right now. So this is her booth, as you can see. And she's attic right there. And she is 20% off. She did have an Easter blow mold and it went out of here pretty quickly. It was gone within, I'd say a week. Now her booth's a little bit, now we still have some St. Patrick's Day up in here and there was a desk that was here last week that sold. So bar, uh, Auntie's Attic, she does come in on Wednesdays to restock and refresh her booth. So at that point, I'm sure she'll be taking out the St. Patrick's Day stuff, because that was only just this past Friday, and putting in spring and Easter. So you gotta be, make sure you look up and down. These crates that she has these items in are for sale. Now, if you visited with our, I think we did her last in January, you're gonna notice a lot of things have gone and have sold. She had a lot more cookie jars. Now we just have this little Dutch girl. She's really cute. So she becomes 2560 and there are measurements on that. And you'll hear the, the loud blowing and then it goes away. That's just the heat. It's like 50, it's 55 degrees out, but I'm always cold. So cute little piggy. Probably a souvenir from Holland, he is. And you can see the crazing lines. It's just crazing, nothing major. And that is a couple little piggies there. And they are $12 in that little wooden holder. And he is $9.60. This looks like Portuguese or Italian. It's not marked, but this is um, most likely Italian or Portuguese uh, pottery. And that cute little basket is just $9.60. bank. Log cabin clear glass for $19.20. A lot of her larger sets sold so you'll remember that they were on the bottom of these shelves. And there's still a little bit of Christmas in here. We you know we tell them leave in a little Christmas sells all year round. Some great cookbooks, a lot of little cook booklets. Recipes to remember the Hillside Historical Society. These are usually pretty good. I'm just going to look at one. We're not going to look at all of them. That's just four dollars. This one slipped in from another one. But, ooh, butter rum glaze, magic cookie bars, petite cheesecakes. Yes, you notice I go right for the desserts. Of course. Sorry, I didn't mean to go too fast there. I gotta fix this later. This is cute little Fire King plate piece for fourteen forty. We always have a good selection of cake plates in. There are some porcelain ones in the shop as well. This looks like false graph. It is. We've, I've, we had a set of candles that matched this set sell the other day. So that's just $12 for that butter dish. A lot of cruets. Some nice little pottery crock there. And again, we're visiting with Auntie's Attic. And you, we do ship the items, the smaller items. This was, so it's gonna be the 20% is off of the lower price. You did not write firm, so it's gonna be off the 20, so this becomes $16. It's a cute little spice set, again. You can see she reduced that from 34 to 25, thus making all six of those little canisters just $20 for the set of them. The rolling pin holder is not for sale. We get asked that every time we show a picture of it. Uh, we actually were selling them ourselves and we sold most of them to our vendors. So if we happen to come across them again, we will bring more in and let you all know. That's why I'm saying if you don't, if, if, you found, if you're just on YouTube because you're not sure about how to use Instagram or Facebook, uh, I get the Facebook can be a little bit more, can be overwhelming. Instagram is so much easier to use and you just you can set your pri your settings to private so nobody has to find you and you can just follow who you want to follow. So which makes it really nice and it's easier to look at. So I'll always post the pictures of the stuff as it comes in. We post on there daily and it, then you can direct message us through there as well. So 
Facebook, I know it can be a lot more overwhelming. There's a lot more that goes on on Facebook. There's links and everything. Instagram just tries to keep to the pictures and it's nice because you won't get those harmful links. Uh, I'm not even able to send PayPal invoices through the messages. So I would need your email at that point. This is Jeanette Glass, Jeanette with two ends, unlike my name, and that's the Marigold Butter Dish. And that's the Iris Pine that came in clear, uh, Marigold and a few other, I think it might've came in some other colors. It's a nice little MCM set here, the frosted with the white and the gold. And that is the Libby Cavalcade horse. Four of them for $16, so that's $4 a glass. It's a pretty good deal from what I'm seeing in other places. And again, there's another black light, as you can see, some more uranium glass. That is a nice measuring cup with the batter. It's like a batter bowl. It has the spout on it. So the nice thing is you can mix up your batter, your cake batter, whatever it is, uh, your, your, and have the measurements in it as you're going along. So that's 2240, that is the Fire King. And like I said, you always have to look up. We always have great artwork in here too, and she has reduced that as well. It's a nice little oil with a very rustic frame. It's still cheaper to buy your frames with the printer, the picture in it, and take it out. I say half the time than to go and buy frames by themselves. Let me just turn this one around just so we can see that easily. Ah. It's a neat little wooden wire sifter for $12. It's a pretty piece of Lennox, it looks like, yep. Always a great assortment of crackle glass in here. That's a pretty lamp. Look at that beautiful blue. That little desk is still here for just 60. That's a nice little oak desk. I'm gonna back up a little bit more so we can see all the other things that are down here sold a lot of copper that she's brought in recently. And you can see, it's called the Pyrex Lady because we have a cabinet here filled with a lot of Pyrex. Uh, it's getting a little harder for her to find it at prices that she can keep it affordable for you all. So, but she is always hunting. We've got the Corel Cornflower Blue, which has been selling again, very, selling a lot of that again. So let's see, small few scratches. Uh, that one's Pyrex Golden Bouquet, 48 with the lid. I can see a little chip right there on the lid. A lot more crown. Oh, look at these. These guys are still in the package for 24. There's full sets of bowls, individual bowls. I just sold the primary set this weekend. This is a nice little seltzer for 28 and where's that out of no, spring new york okay another one for 28 as well and again you're taking 20 percent off of those prices that you see and that is the same as I've said for cash or credit card. We do take in the shop Visa, MasterCard, Discover. We also have the ability to take Apple Pay. We do not do Venmo or Zelle. It's a pretty spring set there. England blue iris eight inch 16 so this is so Pyrex did do different patterns for different countries so you might see something from Canada Australia England that you wouldn't see here well you're seeing it here now but normally it would not have been offered here for sale in the stores back in the day when you would buy your Pyrex brand new it's a nice little basket I don't really want to tip the foam back too much 16 because it feels like it's slightly loose in my stick myself my stick Selfie stick, I can speak. Okay, there we go. I'm not quite as spry as I used to be. So that's $12 for that one. Box. 
and the lighting in her booth is for sale. So that is a pair of lamps for 32. So it's 16 for each of those really darling little boudoir lamps. So you get the matching shades and lamp bases for just $32 for the two. And then the small furniture, other than like the big bookshelves in his booth, all the furniture is for sale. So like the Pyrex cabinet is not for sale. The door is not for sale. The shutters are not for sale. These are part of her displays, but the small furniture is. It's a lot of great kitchen tools, an assortment of everything in this shop. And a lot of our vendors, they'll, they'll kind of specialize in something, but they do have an eclectic mix of everything. So you saw Auntie's Attic tends to specialize in the Pyrex and the kitchen goodies, and a lot of glassware, but she's got a little bit of everything else as well. And she's always looking for more blow mold. She has her contacts looking for that stuff. So a lot of them have their niche that they kind of specialize in. It's a cute little tray, unusual size, and that's 1920. And there are some light scratches in the glass. This is metal, pretty little rose pattern there. I think this is so cute. I cannot believe this is still here. It's 1440. It's a little mini aluminum with the wood base, I, I guess for cheese. Or you could just put a nice little cupcake in there. It's got a lot of nice quilts. So she actually collects quilts, so she knows a lot about those. Repairs them, cleans them, and makes them. These are not the ones that she makes, though. So. And again, we are visiting with Auntie's Attic at Gray Barn. This is quite an unusual one. It's very heavy. So that one is 60 and there's the measurements. It is brass and like I said it does have weight. It is functioning though. The drawer does come out. Just a little heavy though. So the toaster probably works. I haven't tested it but I know a lot of people like to get the older kitchen appliances because they keep going and going and they're much more dependable than the new stuff that you get now. So that was the perimeter of the booth. Now we're going to check out the center. Like I said, we'll be in tomorrow to fluff up and restock her booth. There was a desk here. That's why it looks kind of a little off kilter in the center here. She's been selling a lot of the door stops, especially now that the weather's getting a little nicer. People want to leave those doors open and not have them slam and shut when the wind comes. Very windy here lately. Here's another pretty little cake dish. Uh, 5 by 11 Limoges cake stand. And that's 38 and then 20% off. And this piece of furniture is for sale. Fantastic deal, 115 and then take 20% off. And there are the measurements. That is wood, that is vintage. It has a tiny little drawer. You have this great little display piece. Some more dollar stoppers. And this cute old farmer's almanac crate for 24. And there's the measurements. There we go, focus. This is pretty, unusual. Crock with spout, 95, so that becomes 76. Some nice door stoppers. That rooster is only $16. Let's see how the sunflowers are doing. They are $28. I don't do the bending so well. <laughs> A lot of nice Easter stuff here. These are 12 each for the jars. A lot of cookie jar, uh, cookie cutters have come in recently. I know a lot of people that collect these. These are all the metal ones. I'm not seeing the ones with the wood handle. So the 20, uh, two dollars becomes dollar sixty. Three becomes two forty. A basket that they're in is a mini metal basket for nine sixty. Okay, so this is metal and with, and uh, with the straw, the rattan pastel colors. Pretty cute little. Easter basket there. And this barrel is for sale. The apples are not included, but you can buy them by the groupings at a really good price. Five plastic apples for $1.60. Look at how real they look. You get that whole bag of apples for just $1.60. How do you like them apples? And then we have this nice barrel for 65, so that becomes 52. And that's 24 by 19. It has this liner, which I don't want to take off. It's really on there. So currently that is the only barrel we have left because we sold the other barrel again the other day. They go out pretty quick. It's a cute little table here with the spindle legs and all the things on top of it are for sale, of course. And that's just $60 with the turn legs. This is a cute tin. How much are you? And what do you say? You are $8. That looks like a candy tin it is. So that's made in England. So made by Horner. Little Jack Horner. 
sat in a corner. All right, so doesn't say, it probably had a label on the bottom. This most likely was a candy tin. That's a really sweet little made in England candy tin. All right. And all this lighting is for sale. And now we are gonna head back on up to the, we do have some shipping going out tomorrow and we just got more bubble wrap in because we've been shipping a lot of stuff out to you guys, which is awesome. And again, we visited with Auntie's Attic and here is our contact information. We are located in Andover, New Jersey, which is exit 25 off of Route 80. And you just head up north towards Newton. We're about eight minutes off of the highway. You can find all that information on our website at graybarneyantiques.com. That's gray with the E. You can email us at graybarn at graybarneyantiques.com. Feel free to call and leave us a message at 973-786-5555. We are also on Facebook at Gray Barney Antiques, Gray with the E. Instagram, Gray Period Barn. And of course, you're watching us on YouTube. So please be sure to subscribe to our channel so you're alerted to new content. We will be doing our weekly Facebook Live tomorrow night at 5.30 Eastern Standard Time. And we will also then pop up the replay onto YouTube for our friends who do not watch, who do not have Facebook. I hope you have a wonderful evening. I will be doing a video, I believe, Thursday night. I, I wrote down which booth I need to visit. So look for that. It'll pop up late Thursday or early Friday morning for another video as well. Take care. Good night.